Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and man it feels good to be back. You know, I really need coffee. Let me get some coffee. Can I just say, I missed you all so much. I'm back with a Q&A, which is probably one of my favorite videos to make ever. Um, I just love getting to hear from you guys. A lot of the questions that you have are going to be in the Q&A, so let's go ahead and just get right to it. The first question is, where on earth have you been? Well, where on earth have I been, huh? Um, I guess the shortest answer would be that recovery needed to be my number one priority. And not that it isn't a, a priority now. I'm entering into my later sobriety, which means I've got a good head on my shoulders. So I'm ready to get back into the things that I once enjoyed. And that includes YouTube. Okay, next question. Is that your dog? So I'm assuming that you're asking if Sequoia is my dog. She is my dog, yes. Caitlin adopted her shortly before we started dating, just because I wasn't the one that went to the shelter and got her. Um, does not mean that she's any less my dog. I don't really, I'm gonna, lower this just a bit and kind of scoot back. Give me one second. Okay, that's better. So anyways, yes, she is my dog. She's one of the most important things to me in this entire world. I love her so much. How do you make friends who you think are closeted know that you accept them without being openly gay? So I think what this question is asking is how do you like discreetly since they're closeted, let them know that you're okay with it. So the thing is, whether or not it's sexuality or it's relationships, often there are certain subjects for people that they don't really acknowledge or talk about. Maybe it's because they're insecure, or maybe it's because they're scared, or maybe it's because they haven't accepted it themselves. And when that happens, to go to that person and to talk about it outright, to say, hey, just so you know, if you're gay, I'm okay with it. Um, it's not really the best approach. That person really needs to come to that understanding and acceptance in their own time. So the best thing that you can do if you really want to communicate to that person that you are okay with it, how dare you? The best thing that you can do is to bring up the subject in general. So like bring up sexuality as a topic of conversation naturally and kind of express your views that way. That way the person knows that they're safe to at some point down the line when they when they do come to terms with it themselves they'll know that you'll be accepting of it so this next question i got a lot of different versions of it um and that's are you still singing are you making new music what's going on with your music so i am incredibly excited to announce that i am coming out with an album this year it will probably be october november when it's released. Um, I've been working really, really hard on it and I think you guys are really gonna like it. I don't wanna give too much away. All that I will say about it is that I stopped creating music for a really long time because I was addicted to substances and that really stops your creativity. And now that I am in recovery, uh, my passions have kind of come back and um, that means I'm making new music all the time and yeah this album it's it's very special and I'm really excited to share it with you guys so I will be keeping you posted on that yes it will be available for purchase on iTunes it will also be on Spotify as well I'm gonna make it in CD form so that um, you guys, if you want to order like an actual hard copy, you can do that as well. Super excited. So this person says, I have been struggling with staying sober for quite some time. It is way more difficult not to give up trying 
when you go back and forth and it seems like the circle of slip-ups and failed attempts will never end. Is it always like that? No, it is not always like that. But it can be like that if you are white knuckling it. White knuckling it is when you are not using, but you're not doing anything for your recovery. Addiction is a disease. Kind of think of it like you know, if you have another disease and you don't treat it, it's going to grow. It's going to fester. It's really important that you actually treat addiction and you take it seriously as a disease because not using isn't enough. Your addiction is still going to be active in your mind, which is why you're going to relapse. So that's why I would recommend going to a rehab facility if that's available to you, going to an A. There's a lot of awesome programs out there and you need them if you're going to ever stay clean. There's a lot of great facilities and a lot of them are outpatients. So if you want to come home at the end of the day, they have treatment programs that are like that. That's what I did and it, it changed my life forever. So don't just try and white knuckle your way through it. You need to get real help and that is how you will stop this endless cycle that seems to go on and on. Okay, next question. How is your recovery going? Thank you for asking. I just recently reached a year sober. I feel really lucky that I don't have to live that life anymore. And I feel lucky that I had the resources available to me and the support system available to me when I needed it. Next question is, what is your favorite artist? So after I got clean, I really got into hip hop. That genre of music just resonated with me. And I've never really been into hip hop before, but now it's pretty much the only thing I listen to. My all time favorite artist is NF. If you haven't heard him before, you are missing out. He's incredible. I've seen him live twice. Um, and he's just unbelievably talented. I also love Logic, Eminem. I love it all. Next question. Do you do you time? You time. Do you do YouTube as a full-time job? I do not. I don't really make money off of YouTube anymore. There's like nothing coming in, which is totally fine with me because I would so much rather do this because I'm passionate about it, because I want to help people, because it's a creative outlet. Like those are the reasons that I want to be making videos. I do have a different job now, which I'm announcing very soon. It involves you guys in a way, and that will be my next video. And I am like bursting with excitement to tell you guys about it. <sighs> I want to tell you now, but I'll wait. Next question, how are you? I got this question several times. You guys are the most considerate, kind, amazing subscribers in the world. Like it baffles me. Um, thank you for asking how I'm doing. I really appreciate it. I am happier than I have been in a very, very long time. I have a girlfriend that I love more than anything else in the entire world. I have the best dog ever. I have a career that makes me want to get out of bed in the morning. I get to create music every single day. And then of course I have a YouTube channel that I can't believe is real. Like I look back on my journey on YouTube and it's, it's, a, it's a surreal, Thing. And I just, I'm so, I don't know, I'm so lucky. I'm not trying to brag or anything, it's just, I struggled for a really long time and now I'm clean and sober and happy. Thank you for asking. Are we going to see more of you in the future? Yes, absolutely. Lots of exciting things coming. I know in the past I've said I'm coming back to YouTube and then I haven't come back. That tends to happen where a YouTuber will say, I'm gonna be making more videos now and then they don't produce the content. I'm actually gonna 
make a video explaining why that happens, but you will see more of me. I have the time, I have the energy, I have the willpower, I have the passion, I have the ability to create more videos. What are some videos that are coming up? So I'm gonna be making my announcement video next. I'm gonna be making a video talking about what I just mentioned, why YouTubers leave randomly and suddenly and have a hard time staying consistent. I'm gonna make a video about why I dress differently now. I'm gonna be making more videos about hype items. So the clothing that I wear like Supreme and my sneakers and things like that. I'm going to be making a story time video about how Caitlin and I met because it's a really funny story and of course I'm gonna be making advice videos which means if you have a question that you want answered make sure that you ask it down below or maybe it's not a question maybe you just have something that you want me to talk about go ahead and let me know down below because I want to know what you guys want to see next question I've noticed you've been dressing more masculine why the change in style so like I said I will be making a video that really goes into detail. That was a huge turning point for me and I want to like fully explain it. But a good short answer is it's who I am. It suits me more. Of course I still have a lot of aspects of myself that are feminine but getting in touch with my masculine side has been amazingly beneficial for me. And then on top of that I've gotten really passionate about fashion. It's another passion of mine that I've discovered a little bit later in my life and I'm really grateful for it because it's a way that I'm able to express my individuality. Next question, what motivated you to come back to YouTube? The honest answer is happiness. It's hard to create when you're unhappy. It's hard to feel inspired when your life isn't what you want it to be, but I'm happy now. So um, I want to create. I want to share my happiness with you. I want to connect with you. Like sitting here talking to this camera feels great. Over the years it's become more and more not a camera and you guys, if that makes sense. Next question. Any TV shows to recommend? Funny you should ask. I am currently watching Game of Thrones and um, I'm on season five. Almost completely caught up and I'm tweeting my reactions to it. No spoilers of course because people that give spoilers are the actual worst. There's a reason why everybody recommends Game of Thrones. It's the best quality TV show I've ever seen. Next question. You are witty and fun in videos. Why don't you aspire to be a YouTuber again? Thank you, first of all. Why don't I aspire to be a YouTuber again? To be somebody where YouTube is a career, you have to be willing to meet certain standards. It's a lot of hard work and the things that I would need to do to get the views so that I would make enough money so that I would be able to pay my bills is not something that I'm okay with. And there's no disrespect to anybody where it is their full-time job. I know a lot of people that do it very tastefully and they work their ass off, but I stop being genuine when it becomes about making enough money. And I would so much rather be 100% real and upfront and honest and just do this as a creative outlet because I love it and I love you guys. What YouTubers do you watch? Don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore. The videos that I do watch are about fashion, like hype clothing and ASMR to fall asleep at night. As far as hype clothing YouTubers, I watch like Harrison Neville and Richie Lee. And for ASMR artists, I watch Ephemeral Rift. I watch lovely ASMR S. Oh, and I recently discovered Made in France ASMR, the best ASMR artist I have ever seen. His videos are next level good. One video in particular, The Tingle Dealer 2, and it's just 
If you don't know who he is, go check him out. Um, just make sure if you do like the artist that I sent you to, let them know that I recommended them to you. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so that is it for the Q&A today. I had an awesome time. One thing I do want to say with the album coming out, the name on the album is going to be Jenna, not Jenna Ann. It's my middle name and makes me think of my mother because sometimes she calls me Jenna Ann, but it's not really something that really deeply resonates with me. So Jenna, just my first name, does, and that is going to be what my album is listed under. And I'm slowly going to be taking the Ann out of things. So I'll be changing my Instagram handle, my Twitter handle. I'm not 100% certain what it will be. If you've watched this till the end, then you are a true homie. And I want to make sure that you know soon you won't be able to find me on social media with that handle. If you aren't following my social media outlets, then you totally should be. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you so freaking much. And I'm so appreciative of all the support that you give me. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Wow.